Welcome to Ignite Success. I'm your host, Snowden McFall, professional speaker, six-time author, and coach. And with me today is Ella LeBranch of Crowley Maritime Corporation. She is in an untraditional field in an untraditional way, and I always like to showcase women who are doing things a little bit differently. Welcome, Ella. Thank you. So tell us what you do for Crowley. I am a registered nurse, um, occupational health nurse, to be exact. Um, and you go out on the ocean for three to six months at a time, is that right? Yes, ma'am. And you're married. Yes. And you have a daughter. Yes. So you're leaving your family for six months at a time to go do your job. Yes. And then do you get paid all year round? So if you're on six months and off six months, how does that work? No, we get paid monthly. So okay. once we're on the bo on the bo ship, yes. we're paid for the time that we're on there. When we come home, we're on vacation. Oh, you're considered on vacation. Yes. Okay. Are you paid well then for the six months? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, good. So what is that like? This is untraditional. I mean, when you were sharing this, I, Ella and I met at a networking event when you were sharing about this. What's it like to be on a ship? Is it mostly male? It's mostly male. It's a male predominated um, field. So yes, there's a lot of male on board the ship, but they behave themselves. They so. behave themselves. Yes, okay. Uh, are there any other women who are working on the ship? Yes, there's women, but again, the male outnumbered the women. By probably 90%, um, 90 to 90, 10? 90%, 99%. Okay, 99%. Yeah. Okay, so not very. What are some of the other roles that some of the other women play? Um, cooks, mm -hmm. stewards, so um, also shipmates, um, just a, a variety yeah, of roles. Just, variety of roles and um, they pretty much play all the roles that a male will play um, engineering department so and I'm just in the um, medical department so I just take care of the occupational health needs of okay. the crew. Okay so how many uh, in general are, are the women do the women come together and I'm just really curious about this do the women form kind of a, a group gathering that the women kind of have their own little network within the ship? No, I mean, you have your job, you do your job. Um, right. Most of the time you're there, um, you're working 12 hour shifts. So wow. there's really no time to um, mingle. Socialize. And, <laughs> yeah, you go, the you see most of the people during lunch or right. dinner. Right. And then you go back to doing what you're um, paid to do. So. Do you have days off? While you're at no, sea? When no, when you're days off. on those ships, you're on seven days a week. Every day is Monday. Wow. So. Okay. Okay. So what do you like about this? Um, the travel. Yeah. I get to see a lot of different countries. Um, I get to explore the healthcare system in those different countries and kind of compare them to the U.S. and how they differ and how they um, are similar. So what countries have you liked the best that you visited? Um, Singapore. Singapore. S Singapore okay. and Japan. Those were the two best countries. So yeah. how did their health care systems compare to ours? They're more of a socialized health care uh -huh. system. So everybody else has health care. So I don't think um, for socialized medicine. So it's very different. From it's ours. different. So you're in line. You're waiting for right. services. And I like ours. I mean, we are a little bit more expensive. A lot more expensive, but we have variety. So one of the concerns that I'm sure shows up is uh, self-care. You have some thoughts about that. Yeah, I believe in self-preservation, um, preserving yourself, um, taking care of yourself first before you can take care of others. So exactly. That's very important to me. And so how does that how do you see that not manifesting on the ship? Are people not taking care of themselves? Or? Well, um, being on those ships, they're very strict in terms of health. You know, you have to be very healthy to even um, take part on that type of job. So yes, you have to be healthy. Um, now, once they get on there, that's a different <laughs> story. So. Um, I'm sure there's a gym or some kind of exercise. We have fitness, gyms. Right? We have yeah. um, um, rec rooms to 
get away from work once you're off. Um, right. Now, 12 hours isn't mandatory. Uh -huh. You have eight hours and you're given the option to do four extra hours for overtime. So it's not a mandatory 12 hour shift, but it's mandatory that you work all seven days. Now, these aren't subs, right? These are above ocean ships. No, these are um, contractor ships for the military. Okay, mainly. okay, okay. So can you go up on deck and be outside? Oh, yes. You, yeah. You have time to go on deck, um, look at the ocean. and Right, uh, spend some time, time outside. Time yes. Yes, okay. And so what kind of advice would you have for a woman who is going to get into a traditionally male-dominated field? What have you learned about taking care of yourself in that kind of environment, and what advice would you have for them? Well, the first thing is have respect for yourself. Mm. Um, set boundaries, mm. uh, and those boundaries, once you set them, stand by them. You know, do not cross your own boundaries. When Excellent. You, it's, it's like when you um, set policies mm -hmm. in place, you follow your own policy and you shouldn't have problems. That's an excellent advice. That's a really good one. Well, thanks so much for being with us Thank and sharing you. about this. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. <laughs>